Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today we look at a very popular request on how to solve the problem of linking AutoCAD files into Revit and got some unexpected errors. I'm gonna show one to you right now. If I go to LinkCAD and try to bring into this Revit file this problem file over there. That's a promising name for our problem. Everything else will be the same. I can go for center to center placement for now. That's fine. Let's do OK or open. And immediately we are greeted with this super classical, typical error. It's saying something about the geometry in that file is bigger than an extent Revit can handle. That used to say 20 miles in previous Revit versions, but now it's a bit more cryptic. Anyway, if I choose to do OK, it will churn slowly through the file and see what it can get. So, second problem appears here straight away. Numerical data in the file is out of range. Just another way to say something in there is having a huge extent, couldn't be handled properly in Revit. So, that huge extent will be truncated. You will see all of it. Let's do glow and see how it goes. Another error, we're in a hard trick today. Imported model is out of range. If you pay close attention to my cursor, it's kind of flashing like crazy. So what if it's trying to do something really heavy behind the scene? If I go to 3D, let's see if we can see the DWG there. If I disable section box, and then try a zoom to fit, It zoomed way out from my side, and now I'm just seeing this strange, mysterious column of object. When I hover over it, that's my problem file. So, definitely not good for my model. I'm just really close to uh, killing it at the moment. There's no way I can work on it at this space, when it keeps reflashing and flashing like crazy. So let's undo what we did. Let's undo the poison. And now suddenly everything looks better again. I can navigate as well as before. So the, that file there is definitely the problem. Let's see if we can fix it in AutoCAD. I'm going to open the same file now. Problem file. But now, in here it doesn't look like a very heavy drawing. It's quite simple enough for me to understand doesn't contain that many objects. Let's see if I can do now a zoom to fit. You can either double click your middle mouse button here to do a zoom to fit, or if you don't have a middle mouse button, choose zoom and then click on all. Right away, I can see something strong. My drawing elements are here, bottom right, but somehow it has zoomed out to show me only the origin at that location along with my site elements. Something is there, let me try and have a look if I zoom way into the origin location. Nothing seems to come up. I can keep going like this, nothing will come back to me. So the next step is to check our layers. Layer manager, let's open this. There are a few layers and not all of them are on. I can see the test layer there, I can now turn it on. And there is that circle, that's a culprit of our problem. This is obviously a bit staged. I planned it there for this reason, for, for showing you this problem. But usually this can be a common scenario when you have files coming from a surveyor or an external consultant, however, that feel the need to mark the 0, zero location with an annotation object. Good for them, but not good for your Revit. So obviously now the step to take is to delete it. If I now do a zoom to fit again, I'm brought back to my nice little self-contained site plan. However, you remember uh, in Revit we saw this huge column, very thin, very high column of object. Where does it go? 
if I go to this plan view only, I wouldn't be able to see it. So the trick is to go to 3D. Go to unsaved view there. At the moment, I'm on the top view, but we can go to now the isometric view. And here we begin to see what we saw in Revit. Let's go to the front view as well. Same thing happens. But because this is the front view, I can see my drawing should be lying now on that horizontal plane there. So there's no reason why I have also this huge group of objects shooting up to the sky like this. Let's see what they are. If I click there, they seem to be a bunch of splines. Usually this is because the drawing was exported from another program and the export settings wasn't done right. Anyway, we know what to do next. Let's select them all like this and hit our familiar delete key. If I do zoom to fit again, middle mouse button twice. I'm seeing what I expected at the beginning. A thin line containing all my 2D plan elements. If we go now back to our top view, we should see them again. Now, keep in mind, sometimes when you have done all of that, and the file may still come into Revit with that same error. Something about numerical data out of range or the 20 miles error coming back. Then you have to do one extra step. You need to select what you want to see in Revit. And then just export that selection into a separate new AutoCAD file. So do your selection and then do W block. It will then give you a choice of where to save a new file and how to name it. I will call this one W block. Make sure you choose the right unit for your drawing as well and then do OK. Now it depends on the size of your AutoCAD file. This export command may take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. But now it's done. If I now go and close this, I should be able to open the W blocked file. So here we are with a clean, much cleaner DWG file compared to the last one. Now I can try and bring this into Revit, but before doing so, let me show you another potential error that can appear. Sometimes the file is clean. But if you try and bring it in, you get this message. The file at this location couldn't be imported because of problems in the file, usually unreadable data. What that means is sometimes you have data corruption in the AutoCAD file. And to fix that, you need to come back to AutoCAD like this and run the audit command. Actually, let me make this a bit wider so you can see what will happen. Try and run audit now. And it's going to go through a few phases of checks. Uh, fix any errors detected? Yes, please. And you can see now it's running pass one. And then now it's gone on to pass two. And the check is now done. It shouldn't take too much time. It's quite an uh, efficient check. But now in this case, I see that it found no errors, no errors problems so nothing was fixed but in your case maybe maybe the file can have a thousand errors and all of them can be fixed for you in a few seconds that's very neat another potential error that can jump out at you is this one here some elements were lost during import into Revit obviously and ActiveX and some components cannot be imported the first thing to do when you get this is try and get the same suggestion here done. Try to set proxy graphics to 1. So back into AutoCAD. Proxy graphics. Set that to 1. Now, I usually find that this is um, not usually very helpful because for most files, this is set to 1 already anyway. And usually the problem lies elsewhere. If you go back to the message, it says something more about proprietary components. What that means is, in some more recent AutoCAD versions, 
the program uh, is using some new and advanced component types. You know, types that Revit may not understand fully because obviously Revit and AutoCAD, they are two different programs. The way to fix this is to make sure these new advanced types are converted to a more basic set of types and not what they are at the moment. To do so, one trick is to save this drawing down to an earlier AutoCAD version. At the moment, I'm using AutoCAD 18, but I can now choose to save this file down to AutoCAD 2010. I think 20 years is quite enough for Revit to catch up. Anyway, if I do this, anything that is advanced, recent, will convert it to more basic types. So, done that, I can save it now. And it's time to, to test the water again. We can now go to Link CAD and then link in the files we just optimized. Everything else is good for now. Let's do open. And hopefully this time it should run a lot quicker. Yes, much better as you can see. Now when I go to 3D and zoom to fit, disable the section box first, zoom to fit, I see it's now a nice little self-contained object. The extent is exactly what I want it to be. And there's nothing there floating in 3D and much better still, my model is still fully workable. I don't get that continuous spinning wheel on my mouse again. And that's really, really good. Anyway, before we leave, I'm going to give you a, another bonus tip. Sometimes if you've done all of that and the files still come in with a huge extent or if it's still not performing well for your Revit file, consider fixing your blocks in here. If I right click on anywhere in a blank space, I can do a quick select. And now we can quickly select all blocks in the model or in the drawing. So select apply to the entire drawing, that's good. Object type can be block reference. And for filter, I just want to do select all. Okay now. That should go ahead and select all blocks in the file for me. And now I can see a few of them are here. Again, this is stage, so you can see the process or the problem. But in your case, these blocks may be the problem because sometimes blocks are defined differently in their block audit editor. And sometimes a block can be defined in a way that it extends is much bigger than what is showing on screen. So let's say I have here this block here that is rectangular. But in the block editor, maybe they draw a huge circle around it but then they hit it they hit the circle in the block and that's why sometimes the blocks can be the problem why your drawing has an incorrect extent in our case here i don't need those blocks so i can just delete them from my drawing that's easy enough to do i can just press delete now and i should be gone if you want to retain the appearance of those blocks, you can try and do explode instead. But I can change your block as you can see, so not ideal. Only works well for static blocks. But then go back to quick select. And then make sure in this list of object types in the entire drawing, there shouldn't be any line for block reference like we had before. Sometimes blocks are nested one within another, so you may have to do the explode on them a few times until all the blocks are gone from your model. After that's done, run PU for purge unused. And do purge all a few times, just so we can clean out anything used by those blocks. Save the file. And when you try to link it into Revit like we did, you should see the expected result. All right, so that's a few tricks you can use to make sure your AutoCAD files are optimized for your Revit linking. It's hard to say that we covered all the tricks for this topic because AutoCAD comes in all shapes and sizes, but if you can, you can try with a few tricks today and it still doesn't work, 
just make a comment below and we'll see what else we can try. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.